Hi there. I just finished recording an interview podcast with the amazing UDJ on his channel. I'm sure many of you know and follow him already. The podcast itself was on my newly launched course Mind Like Water. It's a 4 week long cohort based course and if you want to know more about it just check out the most recent video on my channel which is a promo for the course where I talk about all the fun stuff. Um for this video I just wanted to take a clip from the podcast interview with UD where I essentially do a walk through demo of building a job search tracker in Notion from scratch. And if you're currently doing your grad school I feel like this can be incredibly useful for you. So I will also attach the template that you can use below in the description and uh, if you want to just hear us chit chat in between and just watch the entire video just check out the video on UD's channel and for now let's get into it <laughs> <laughs> but if you want I'll be like your classmate in this course so that'll be awesome <laughs> I'm so, I actually never thought about that right so if I was one of your audience and if I was watching like my hero tell me that hey I will be in the same class as you I think that's a pretty big incentive <laughs> so um yeah actually yeah. anyone watching this it's this course is actually not about notion or <laughs> mind like what is about meeting yuri so yeah. check it out cool awesome. I can now um, jump into the demo now yeah okay so let me share my screen Tell me if you're seeing Dream Tracker. Yes, I am. Okay. Um first things first, when you open a Notion page, I just titled this page, but let's say if I had not titled this, this is what you see. Extremely minimalistic, very not overwhelming. So, I one of the things I love about Notion is the aesthetics. Um right now, we are going to be building a Dream I just want to call it Dream Tracker just to add some mm. charm to it, but it's really a way to keep yourself organized as you start looking for internships and jobs. So let's give it a nice name. Can we say if they use this uh, tracker they will get into fan companies because you know everybody wants to get into fan huh. companies. I um I don't know about that. It really depends on the person but I, I think, good luck I, to anyone. Uh, I I think they can. I think they can. I <laughs> I think and they should get into whatever is their top choice. Hmm. Um okay uh, and, so right and now, also I I don't for people who might have not watched our previous videos uh, Pooja actually uh, Sondarya who also goes by Pooja uh, is a product manager at Salesforce uh, and we've done a couple of videos in the past she also did her masters in IV uh, League University Columbia New York uh, so just throwing that out there. okay <laughs> Oh, well, thank you so much. Um and shameless plug, but I also published a book called Admitted last year. That's so right. if any of you are wanting to pursue your study abroad dream, check it out. Yeah. Cool. Um with that plug, I'll start with delivering <laughs> some value actually. So Dream Tracker, right now we've named it, added some nice I like this icon a lot and cover image. So first things first, when you do a forward slash in Notion, it brings out all of the blocks so when i mentioned lego blocks before i was partly using a metaphor but also you see notion uses the word blocks as well in it um it has a all types of block types that you can create for now we're going to focus on creating a table that's in line oh sh- shoot sorry about that that's okay and and this is free tool for anybody who's watching so if you go exactly. to notion dot uh, so Is it SO? It is. Yeah, it's SO. Yeah. Uh create your account and this is a free tool which everybody can use. I use it heavily uh, right now but not as organized as Pooja is going to show us. <laughs> well, yeah, I think it's a tool and uh really the tool should fit your use case. So, you can use it as a to-do list if that's all you want to do and that's completely okay. Um right now think about it like let's say if you want to track all of the companies you're applying to what kind of metadata would you want to add there aside from the company name i would think you want to add the role so mm-hmm. we can make this a single select and make things like you know product manager project manager and so on um and then the next thing you would want to track is link to the application and notion also lets you create different types of metadata so this is a url um aside from a link i think if i was doing this i would also want to create a link for 
referrer if i'm getting a referral from someone hmm. so referrer hmm. would just be the name of the person and then i, I think i would also want to track referrers linkedin just in case if i want to quickly open that and message them yeah essentially for at least in terms of software world this is more like just building a database mm-hmm. exactly you're really just building a database at this point um but, but you don't now, have to write complicated sql queries exactly exactly um oh very crucial thing deadline because you don't want to miss a deadline for an application which mm. i have done a few times so yeah now we have some basic metadata in there um right now the difference between google sheets and notion you start seeing it once i open this so you see how this was really just a row in a table but mm. now it has become a page of its own and guess what you can go in here and create another table in here wow and you can add a row here and you can go in there and create another table it's, it's all nested and that's the mm. beauty of notion because everything is a block so, so for in the use case i could think of is like obviously people can come up with their own use case but in google you can apply to maybe multiple roles and you want to have another exactly um or maybe you want to add a table here for meeting notes which i think is a very valid use case like you would be talking to many people from google all oh, right. right yeah so you want to add a meeting notes table with all of the contacts that you're talking to from google mm-hmm. so this is just you know it's a notion is lego blocks and you can use it however you want So so far we've created a database to keep ourselves organized. The next thing that I would do is well, let's you know, go inside a page and think about what components we would want inside this page. So for example, maybe I want to create an application checklist. Um what are some application checklists? Review resume or get resume reviewed. Um What's another checklist? Can you give me some ideas? Um I think che- before even resume review uh, checking the job description is you will want to right. have your resume so, kind of match validate job description um reach out to five employees if you can yep get a referral yeah. if possible um mm-hmm. perhaps I would even say if you want to go an extra step here create a two page pitch deck that you want to send to the referral right uh get resume reviewed and then review uh, sorry review application yeah because some application once. has some detailed questions submit so, so you have this checklist and you know the best part is You don't even have to recreate this checklist. What you can do is Notion recently introduced something called synced blocks and I'll show you the magic of that. Um let's say I'm choosing all of this and I'm turning it into a synced block. Oh, so nice. So you see what happens. If I copy, go back, open Airbnb and I paste this here. Now I've created a synced block. And let's say that sometime in the future as I keep applying to more and more universities I want to add one more step in here. Uh right. maybe that step is after reviewing application once it is all my mother or something. What whatever it is. I add it here and it gets added here as well. So I don't have to go back and change anything anymore. Nice. That is and awesome. the more amazing thing is i can make this entire thing a template so i copy everything and i go here new template and i put this here right now guess what i don't even have to create this and copy and paste any of that i can just do new click on this template option and it auto populates hmm it should hmm. take a few seconds but essentially it's auto populated So this way you never have to do redundant work anymore. Mm-hmm. The only thing you have to you should be focusing on is filling in the company's roles, link to the application deadline, refer and all of that. And you don't ever have to 
copy and paste the stuff inside the application because it's always there using the template option hmm um so this is once again people can use this in many different ways that they want to um and one more thing i wanted to show is i have missed a few reminders in my days when i was applying to i don't know 10 20 different companies so what you can do is let's say the google deadline is a week from now you can go to deadline you can click on this and you can actually say remind me two days before so i don't forget this so this acts as a reminder and, and and how will that remind like how does it remind you like do you have to open the app or does it send you notification well it sends you a notification on the side here um so essentially if you tell your brain that notion in this page is all i need to look at every single day then you don't have to worry because it will send you a notification two days two days before and um even if you don't open the app you'll get it on your phone so just make sure to turn on notifications obviously mm, mm. and yeah. so you can do all of this and um finally i wanted to show one more important thing which is notion recently launched its api which has been a much requested feature and so right now you can do it a sync between google calendar and notion so previously we had notion mm. calendars which was very disconnected from google calendar and google calendar is so powerful because it connects to many other services yeah so this is uh, you know the calendar for my course and to embed this into notion i would just have to go to the settings <clears throat> access permissions and make the calendar public get this shareable link go back to notion do a forward slash embed and then paste the link in here and essentially by doing that i have connected my google calendar with notion I, this is this is so awesome i mean i think people can track so many things over here essentially they can track obviously anything and everything they want even like assignments right like if you're taking five courses and how many assignments you have how many quizzes you have and they can actually prepare everything and manage everything on this is that true exactly i <clears throat> notion keeps calling itself the all in one tool and there's a reason for it because with the api right now with all of these features it, it can really act as an all in one tool because you don't need google keep for reminders and google sheets for tracking and google calendar for thinking so you can all you can do it you can do all of that in one and also um there's more like sync blocks templates these are features which are not present in the google suite so mm. i know a lot of students tend to use google suite when they start doing these trackings so i really just want to introduce this idea to them so they don't have to use anyone who's watching this this just think of this as all of this is possible in this new tool and it's just one more element added to your knowledge base And mm. if you feel like Google Sheets is not living up to your expectations or you're finding it difficult, try this out. It's a free tool. Um right. I have I've seen crazy videos I mean on YouTube uh, where people use this to manage their money. Or YouTube that's what I mainly use it for to track all my videos and things like that. Uh um yeah so it, it is like definitely one of the awesome tool I've discovered as well. Yeah and and it's it's I will say that um just to not come off as someone who says that you can do everything in Notion. I actually don't use Notion for anything related to knowledge management where I take down ideas and journal. I use another tool for that which is much more suited. Hmm. So I have experimented a lot with just tools like these over the past two years and I found that over and over again Notion is best for planning and organizing. So um just as a really brief walk through this is kind of my weekly planner and you can see mm. that in the beginning you just saw a white page that's all there was but it took me a long period of time to get to it, get it to the stage where right now i have all of my goals and projects everything in here mm. and i have a kanban board for how my week looks like and just it's so much more powerful than people tend to think and in my course especially i want to help people build a very robust workflow like this that works for their brain not for mine or for anyone else's because this what i showed you works only for me um yeah so that's yeah. kind of the goal 